We invite you to watch the video on the Aquaculture Farm channel. Commercial fishing is the activity of catching fish and other seafood for commercial profit, mostly from wild fisheries. It provides a large quantity of food to many countries around the world. But those who practice it as an industry must often pursue fish far into the ocean under adverse conditions. Large-scale commercial fishing is also known as industrial fishing. Commercial shrimp fisheries' main objective is to maximize their target catch in order to make the most profit. Commercial shrimp fisheries satisfy this goal by the utilization of trawl nets. Trawling is a very destructive form of fishing, and unfortunately, does not take into consideration ecological consequences. Trawling, by the use of the water trawls, is used to maximize their catch of shrimp. The alterations to the substrate and damages to habitat configuration can induce an ecological shift of the organisms that live in that area. People all around the world love to eat shrimp and it serves as a staple in many cultural dishes. The high global demand for shrimp makes marine shrimp fisheries a very profitable and competitive market. Trawling involves pulling a weighted, sock-shaped net through a water column or on the sea floor in order to exploit the catch of a target species. Most commercial shrimp fisheries use beam trawls because they are specifically Trawls are one of the most unsustainable methods of fishing because trawls catch an outrageously high amount of bycatch in comparison to the amount of target shrimp or commercially profitable fish. The high inefficiency of trawl nets is a serious threat to the future of the commercial fisheries. The commercial fisheries actions have a negative feedback on themselves, and if they continue to deplete their own resource, the fishery will not survive. Trawls have been designed to maximize their contact with the seabed in order to attempt to catch most amount of shrimp, however, this method demolishes the benthic habitat, 